and ask God, what do I tell people concerning the longest night? He has been quiet. <laughs> he never said anything until last night. That's right. Fresh bread. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Fresh bread. Amen. Yeah, somebody said it's fresh bread. Amen. It's not stale. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So that's how much our God loves you people. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Night was created by God. Amen. Night is the absence of light. And when there is no light, what we can do is just globe around in darkness trying to find our way. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But I thank God because night was created by God. Amen. And I was created by God. Amen. The same God who created the night is the same God who created Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So when night comes, as long as it was created by God, and I am created by this God, these are two things that are operated by the same creator. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And these are two things that can obey the commands of the one who created. Amen. If you read in the book of Genesis, the Bible says, and it was night, and it was day, and it was called the first day. It never starts, and it was day, and it was night, and it was called the first day. Come on, get me right. And it was night, and it was day, and it became the first day. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. It was night, and it was day, and it became the first day. Hallelujah. After the night, when the day comes, that is when it is declared a day. So night always begins, precedes day. Amen. And so I want to tell you that being in the night doesn't mean it's over. Yes. Yes. That is only the starting point. Amen. Because as long as it is night, day will come. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible says in the book of Malachi that the faithfulness of God is greater than the coming of morning. You know, as long as it is night, everybody goes to bed and we expect that morning will come. Praise the name of the Lord. There are people who have greater trust in the coming of morning than they have trusted in the Lord. I want to assure you as we lay the foundation of this meeting that the faithfulness of God is greater. It is more than the coming of morning. So as long as it is night, it will surely become day. And the God who you serve and the God who you trust is greater. His faithfulness is greater than the coming of morning. Meaning that he will definitely show up. No matter what, he will show up. If morning comes, his faithfulness is great. Praise the name of the Lord. And one thing that brings us down is when we don't understand the workings and the timings of God. Men and women of God, most of the times we have given up in the night. We have felt like we have lost all. We have felt like it's time to give up and just try our own means. But it is good for us to understand his concept and our concept. The Bible says the ways of men are as far as the heavens are from the earth. That is the way our thoughts and even our ways are far from the ways of God. Praise the name of the Lord. But when we come to understand his concept, we can wait upon him even in the night. Faithfully holding on and saying, I will wait upon him because he will surely show up. I want us to read in the book of Psalms 90. I'm just laying the foundation of this meeting. It's a revival meeting. So I'm sure somebody is going to be revived. Praise the name of the Lord. If you had just given up on this God, there is a revival. Praise the name of the Lord. If you felt like it's not working, there is a revival. 
If your faith has gone down, there is a revival. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are just laying a foundation and we need to understand God's concept. In the book of Psalms 90 and verse 4. Verse 4 says, For a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by. Or like, or like a watch in the night. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody said somewhere, there are times we find that God is taking too long to answer our prayers. It's like God is taking too long to do what we want him to do. And we are always in a hurry, especially in America. You guys, you, you have microwave, it's instant, everything instant, instant. Praise the name of the Lord. And I think even if we back in Kenya have a problem waiting upon God, at least I can wait a, a, a bit longer than an American woman. Because you are so much used to instant, instant things, yeah? Praise the name of the Lord. And somebody say that why God is not in a hurry is because he ain't going anywhere. Praise the name of the Lord. He was from the beginning. He is and he will be. God is not going anywhere. And that is why we need to understand his concept. That a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by. Praise the name of the Lord. Or like a watch in the night. A watch consists of four hours. A watch in the night, it consists of four hours. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is what is being compared to a thousand years in the sight of God. Praise the name of the Lord. What am I trying to say? Even if you are in, the, in your longest night and God has not shown up, it is not to say that you will never do it. It is not to say that you will never see the light. It is not to say that you will not see the morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Because that watch, a watch consists of four hours. Praise the name of the Lord. That watch of four hours, in the eyes of God, in the sight of God, is just like a thousand years. Praise the name of the Lord. So can we try to do a bit of mathematics? What well, is four hours and a thousand years? What's the ratio? So you don't have a reason to say that God gave up on you. You don't have a reason to quit praying. You don't have a reason to quit walking in righteousness. Praise the name of the Lord. Maybe you might tell me, Pastor, I've been praying for a spouse, I'm approaching my forties, and God is not doing it, so I better just try the internet. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. We need to understand that delay is not denial. Praise the name of the Lord. And tonight I want to lay a foundation of hope. Because unless you have hope, unless you have expectation, nothing will ever happen. You never get what you don't expect. Praise the name of the Lord. And for many who already counted it, quit and they left. When the Lord shows up, you are not there. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Hosea, chapter 5, and chapter 6 and verse 15, that I will now go to my holy place. And after they are afflicted, they will seek me honestly in their affliction. The Bible speaks about a time that the people of Israel and Ephraim had called upon God. 